Tag TV and Tag Radio be seen and heard by both technology users and technology producers throughout the state of Georgia and around the world. Low cost, big benefits, powerhouse online branded video and audio has arrived. Tag TV, Tag Radio, there's a lot more to know. This edition of Tech Talk is brought to you by Globalspeak.com. New media consultants, corporate video and audio communications, video and audio production and distribution, live and virtual event production. Tag TV and Tag Radio is a service of Globalspeak.com, creatively delivering powerful marketing, video, and audio solutions. Hey, F. Comrus. No, not an opinion on the economy. It could well be the future of how you and the entire corporate and business world will market products and services. The ability to sell through Facebook and the latest craze in social commerce. That's right, social commerce. It's what happens when you take electronic commerce and use social media for social interaction and user contribution to promote online buying and selling of products and services. Customer ratings and reviews, user recommendations and referrals, social shopping. That's when you share the act of shopping online. Forums, communities, social media optimization, social applications, and even social advertising. From Facebook to Groupon, Living Social to Buy With Me, and more, many, many more. Consumers will get an opportunity to buy a product or service for for potentially less than its market value, while acting as an advertiser or promoter by sharing the deal. And retailers, they save on marketing costs and reach a wider market. Will e-commerce affect your business or service in the future? Experts state it will impact all aspects of human interaction. Greetings, everyone. It's Thursday, June 9, 2011, and this is Tech Talk with Technology Association of Georgia President Tino Mantella. Thinking about e-commerce? What is the best advice a company can use to decide whether to launch an e-commerce presence? Is a Facebook storefront in your company's future? The Tech Talk turns to a key speaker at the recent Digital Summit held here in Atlanta to explore and explain the latest trends in e-commerce. Sean Cook, over a decade of online marketing management and new technology innovation, has earned him a reputation of excellence and international success. From Earthlink to CompuCredit Corporation, IXL Enterprises, Bell South, the Coca-Cola Company, he's published in industry mags such as Internet Retailer and a feature contributor to Forbes magazine. Next time someone says, hey, F. Commerce, tell them you've heard all about it from one of the industry's top thinkers as Tino Tech Talks with Sean Cook, CEO of the premier e-commerce platform solution, Shop Visible. Sean, thank you for joining me on Tech Talk. Hey, it's great to be here. Thank you. So uh, the Digital Summit got some uh, very good reviews, and I know you chaired a discussion there uh, along the lines of latest trends in e-commerce. So what, what was that conversation about? What Were there any outcomes to that in terms of what are the latest trends you're seeing? Sure. Um, it was a really great event here in Atlanta, and um, I'm especially excited that uh, we're starting to see more and more of these things happen here in Atlanta. Uh, obviously, we're one of the leading areas in the country for technology innovation and headquarters for companies. And the people got together to talk about, uh, in particular, e-commerce. It's one of the uh, leading areas of the economy where we're seeing companies able to actually grow. And and we had a discussion around innovation and customer acquisition And there were folks talking about how a connected customer really is looking to companies to have seamless uh, touch points across everywhere that they're interacting with a a consumer and a company. And there were just some interesting discussions around how a customer expects to, to connect with a company on a mobile device, on a website, in a physical brick and mortar store, and in social media. Uh, So it it was a really neat discussion. How fast is the is the market changing? I mean, what are you seeing? If you were to say, what what are two or three outcomes related to um, how e e commerce and the latest technologies are affecting how people um, you know do business? Sure. Well, that's that's one of the biggest drivers is the speed of change. 
right now we see um, that companies where they previously would try and develop a lot of technology in-house, uh, they've come to the realization that it just moves too fast. And if, if it's not core to your business, if you're not a technology company, right. if you're a, a brand, a manufacturer, a retailer, you, you want to rely on somebody that can have that kind of flexibility and, and nimbleness in development. So there, there were a lot of companies there that, that bring that very kind of expertise. And Shop Visible is in this space. So how do you help companies build their e-commerce presence? Sure. Well, Shop Visible, we're a, a SaaS-based e-com, e-commerce technology solution provider, so we have a platform. And what we do is we are incredibly nimble in the space. We do eight new major releases a year. And one of the things that makes us different is that all of our clients are on a single instance of, the, of our platform. And so as we roll out these new releases and we're adding new functionality around social commerce and around mobile, all of our clients benefit from being part of that ecosystem. So a lot of companies are moving into e-commerce, some faster than others, and that would be expected. Um, for those that are looking into this now, what, what kind of advice would you would you give them? Uh, there's obviously lots of different options, and there's talk about the cloud, and and you mentioned SaaS model. So you know, taking it, I think most people would recognize that they can't keep up with that the pace of change. So working with a company like yours uh, makes a lot of sense. So what what kind of advice would you give these companies today? Well, you know, the interesting thing is that um, companies that are jumping in the game right now, I like to tell them that uh, not to fear. You've you've almost got a third mover advantage. Uh, There's lots of companies that uh, have spent a lot of time and energy and effort uh, helping the evolution of e-commerce. And now companies that are just getting into that game or they're considering replatforming or we even work with, with old brands that are just now looking to embark on the first direct-to-consumer sales that they're doing. The great thing that they have at their disposal right now is companies like Gosh Shop Visible, we have got the technology, we've got the best practices, so when you're coming in, you're not starting at zero. You're starting uh, with the ability to jump right ahead uh, to the latest and best technology. The, the other the advice I would give is, just make sure that you don't consider this to be a, a discrete or separate part of your business. Um, when when I, the challenge that I see people having right now is when they try and treat mobile commerce or social commerce and e-commerce and their brick-and-mortar commerce as separate entities, then you end up having a disconnected organization that in turn feels disconnected from a consumer standpoint. So the to the extent you can have all of those things tied together, um, it, it'll really benefit you from an operational standpoint as well as uh, your customer from an experience. Switching gears a little bit, um, there's a new term out. I think it's a relatively new term, F-commerce, and uh, it's evidently the ability to sell through Facebook, and it seems to be all of a sudden becoming a hot commodity uh, in the social commerce arena. Um, are you helping companies with that, and, and how far along is that? I mean, if people have Facebook storefronts. I know I know some companies do, but in, is it is it working actually as a percent of sales for, for a company? And I don't know if you could point out any specifics on that. Yeah, no, of course. But, um, what you've what you've mentioned is something that it, we see a lot of activity going on right now. You figure that um, the, the statistics are staggering. There are over 750 million people that are on Facebook. Uh, the, the stats that I hear are that the average Facebook user is spending more than 55 minutes a day on Facebook. So um, social, uh, in particular Facebook, is making a significant impact on, on the way that consumers interact online. Uh, the weekly traffic that goes there is greater than Google. So there's no denying that it's going to continue to have a significant impact on on how companies interact with consumers. We saw, uh, with an extension to our platform that we did about two years ago, we gave our customers the ability to push products and promotions into Facebook. 
we saw greater than 20% lift in conversion wow. for those customers that originated in Facebook. Yeah. So what we what that did was that just kind of ignited uh, some some interest and some direction for us. And in Q4 of last year, we announced the um, the launch of a full social commerce platform. So we've taken the same kind of enterprise level uh, e-commerce technology and given our clients the ability to have fully immersive viral shopping experiences within Facebook. And I think what you're seeing now is just the beginning of uh, marketers being able to scratch the surface of leveraging the power of uh, social networks like that. I guess anybody listening in today who isn't moving forward and has a company that has potential for e- e-commerce should get a little queasy feeling in their uh, in their stomach here that there's some there's something they they may be left behind on if they don't move forward. I, I guess if you think out maybe five years or uh, let's just say five years from now and look at the mix of uh, buying from you know brick and click and using it through Facebook and and uh, just general e-commerce versus traditional, which I guess maybe isn't even all that traditional anymore. Uh, I, the mix, would you say the mix of uh, e-commerce will be much different than, uh, or the mix of commerce will be much different than it is today? Uh, well, I, certainly I do. And um, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it as people should have a queasy feeling. I yeah. think it, it's an exciting time. If if we you know if you look back and you think all right if only I had the benefit of 2020 um, vision uh, looking into the future as I can in hindsight um, you look back and you think okay the internet came along and people came on and and it really changed the way that uh, companies interacted with consumers and were able to sell and there's been an evolution of e-commerce then Google came on the scene and and made such an impact on search that that changed the way that customers found um, companies and products. Well, we're looking right now at this this growth curve and the trajectory that people are are joining and aggregating and congregating and colonizing Facebook. Uh, it just means that we can now look at that and say, I am right here in the midst of this as it's evolving. So companies have the opportunity to help define uh, how how consumers interact um, and and be a part of that. So uh, for us, it's very exciting, and we work in collaboration with our our customers because they're the ones who have been aggregating and collecting fans, and we get to have the the chance to let but the consumers help us define how social commerce and f commerce is going to be the new medium for how people can sell products and, and have a real return on investment for those activities. Well, thank you for joining me on Tech Talk today, and uh, and best of luck with Shot Visible as, as you continue to progress, and, uh, and thanks for uh, being a leader in this uh, new uh, industry that has so much potential for all uh, Georgia companies. Hey, Tino, I, I really appreciate the invite, and uh I'm thrilled with the kind of stuff that TAG is doing. Like I said, it's uh, it's great to see these things happening right here in our backyard. Thank you.